Now, the other week I was driving Kia Sorento, their big monster, and now I'm in their smaller car. It's the Kia Venga. This is a diesel 1.4, and this is their Ecodynamics Venga 3, which is their top trim. So I first drove this car in Barcelona on the launch, and that was beautiful countryside, smooth roads, and I think it carried away there, and I just thought, what a lovely car. So I did wonder how it would be on London's busy roads with lots of bumps and lumps. I also drove the 1.4 petrol then, and this, I say, is the Ecodynamics. So it's ecological, fuel saving, has an intelligent stop-start system, so it's altogether a slightly different beast. But it does come at quite a price, even though you're going to be saving on fuel eventually. And being the top level trim, you get amazing panoramic sunroof here, and lots of other bits and pieces. But whether it's worth the extra 2,300 and something pounds, I'm not convinced about. But you can drive away one of these cars for £11,495, and that's the basic trim level one, and that's the petrol 1.4. And I do wonder whether that's a slightly better deal, actually. Because <laughs> I'm not sure I'd really want to spend over 15000 on just quite a normal sort of car, even though it has got all these gizmos and fuel-saving things. Having said that, I have really enjoyed this car, and I quite like the way it looks. It's nothing stunning, nothing head-turning, but it's got some very nice features, very nice front. I like the rear, which seems to go up in a nice pert sort of way. The panoramic sunroof is fabulous and very nice for the passengers in the rear there. And because we've got the top trim, you get privacy glass as well. And it feels very comfortable back there. The kids have enjoyed it. They're slightly raised to the front here and does make them feel quite comfortable. So what is the Venga all about? Well, it's all about space, flexibility, comfort, I think. It is like a mini MPV, even though Kia don't really label it as such. They say it's more of a B-segment car. But my husband, who is rather a large man, bought it for a day, I let him, and he just thought it was fantastic, because normally when he comes out of the car, he looks like he's had a bad hair day, completely flat head. And this one, he had loads of headroom, loads of elbow room and leg room. I say he is a very large man, and he found it exceptionally comfortable. So the Venga's all about practicality, and I do love the rear seats. It's a bench type thing, so the person in the middle has a bit of a raw deal, but if you've just got two people in there, that middle bit flops down in a very generous armrest. What I really like about the back seats is they flop down with a pull of a handle and become completely flat with the rest of the loading bay in the boot. And as for the boot, the boot is a very generous space. I say I do love that flat loading bay, especially with heavy bags and a smaller person. But underneath that, you've got a hidden part, which again is quite a generous size. There are loads of cubby holes, drink holders, bottle holders, um, plenty of places to, to put your stuff. So to the internal styling of the Venga, I think it's very nice. I like the central console here. It's all quite straightforward and easy to use. Um, the steering wheel is great. On the Venga 2 and 3, you get the um, controls on the wheel, which I really, really like, especially the volume control, which you can do with your thumb. Some of the things like the, the, the indicator sticks and what have you, a bit tacky and cheap. I wouldn't mind so much on the £11,000 car, but on the £15,000 car, I may be a bit disappointed with that. So sitting in the Venga, very easy to get comfortable. I found visibility of the rear perfectly fine, but my husband struggled with it, but found it was well compensated for by the huge windows here. His only concern was, being a sort of city town car, might you sort of bump into things with your windows, but that, that's more about his driving than the actual windows. I do like um, the apron here and the nice little window there. Again, it feels that you can really see what's going on around you, which is so important. So the seats are comfortable, they're adjustable, you can adjust the steering wheel. What I also like is the great armrest here, which moves with the chair. It doesn't get left behind, so you can't use it. And maybe it's a bit lazy way of driving, but I find it very comfortable. The drive, while I'm not the most exciting drive in the world, I think it's really perfectly adequate for driving in a city or a town. The steering is, is nice and light. I love the gears, they click into place very nicely. And you can pull away at junctions, and there's enough power there to get you out of trouble should you need to. 
key identifier there, a um, more economical car, with the badge on the back which says Eco Dynamics on it. And what that means really, you've got the intelligent stop start, um, all the cars have a low rolling resistance tyres, but this car, because of the diesel and the stop start, the CO2 emissions are 117 grams per kilometre, which is pretty good, and on combined cycle you can get, they say, 62.8 miles to the gallon, which is pretty good going I think really. So why might you choose the Venga over other similar cars, say um, the Nissan Note or the Honda Jazz? Price is roughly the same, um, but I think with this car, you get the space, you definitely get that. And really what always impresses me is Kia's seven year warranty, which I just think that to me would get me every time. And they now have a new system where if you buy a second hand Kia, and it's under 18 months old or only 18,000 miles on the clock or under, you can then top that warranty back up to another seven years. So maybe you should all be waiting for a second-hand one. So why would you buy this car, say, over the Jazz? Well, to me, the Jazz still has an older person connotations about it. It was aimed for the older person. This car, to me, is aimed at younger family or even a family slightly downsizing. It's a cheekier style, I think. A, I think a better look and you've got the warranty and you've got the space so I think the ideal young family no good for me my time in life my three kids they'd be arguing too much but younger one two kids I think it's perfect